Snow day, snow day. All right, let's go cut up the Christmas tree. Alright, the boys are still working on the uh, the log of the tree. Good job, guys. Uh, we're just in catch-up mode, and I'm going to get you a bunch of updates on running, YouTube, shoes, all that good stuff here in a little bit. I'm going to go do three miles today. I'm actually not going to film. I'm going to leave the camera, just three miles easy, bopping along, nine-minute pace. You know the drill with me. So, oh man, happy week, happy Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, what day is it? So about once a quarter, about once a quarter every three months, I usually do a video that is basically just talking, just simply talking, not, you know, not, I didn't film my run today, which was kind of weird. I'm not talking about running shoes tonight. There's nothing standing here right now. Simply updating you on some uh, life events, running, uh, YouTube, all t-shirts, all of that good stuff. And if you're watching this on January 23rd, you can also come back to YouTube at 7 p.m. Mountain Time, so my local time here in Denver, and we can talk about this live at the live stream uh, because that'll be happening tonight when you are watching, the, if, you, if you are watching this on Wednesday, January 23rd. And thank you for being here, by the way. So I do have, I just have a long list of things to talk about and we're just gonna go down and again, anything that pops up into your mind, definitely ask down below in the comments. First up, uh, next week on the live stream, looks like Joseph, my brother, is gonna be able to join us and let's just, just to whet the appetite a little bit, uh, basically, and you know, talking to everybody, but especially like high school coaches, uh, high school cross country track runners, like, Joseph really had an interesting, uh, he has had an interesting path with running and especially in high school, like he just rocked it. He just rocked it and he did run at Foot Locker. Uh, so he is fast and I think you'll be able to learn a lot from him and from myself next week talking about the training that we did in high school for him. So anyway, come back next week for that. I've also, it looks like I will be able to interview the following week one of my CU uh, teammates. So somebody that I ran with at the University of Colorado. So any, again, just I'm starting to line up these different uh, interviews for the live streams. But uh, I will say, if you shared some ideas with me last week, remember I asked the question of the day, who should I interview for the live stream? Um, I should have said, could you email me their contact info? And it would just help so much if you had some contact info for some of these coaches, athletes, uh, race directors, anybody that you think I should be interviewing and really diving into their story with respect to how they are connected to the running world. Uh, if you have their contact info, definitely, and it, obviously with their approval, don't hesitate to email that to me, their email, their phone number, maybe their social media contacts, uh, contact information. That would help me tremendously. And my email, you have to find it on the uh, desktop version of YouTube under the about section. Sound good? That would be a huge help for me. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's see. The Reebok Float Ride Run Pro Shoes. We're going to talk about these tomorrow, or sorry, tonight at the live stream. Some of you uh, expressed some concern about these shoes with respect to the price. And again, these are the lightest running shoes I've ever owned. So come back tonight to the live stream and I'll talk more about these shoes at the live stream. So that'll be tonight. And let's see what else. Uh, okay, so I alluded to the fact that my brother and I, remember I was up in uh, Carbondale and Aspen this past weekend running mountains with Joseph. And it was amazing getting some good high altitude uphill training with him. And basically we alluded to the fact that it looks like there may be an additional race for 2019 that frankly, I have heard of this race before, but I, I've never researched it. 
I think it's going to be a pretty incredible fit for both of us, and it's always fun to be able to race with my brother. So, it looks like, uh, should I tell you now or should I tell you at the live stream? Hmm, hmm, a little teaser, a little teaser. Hmm, no, I'll tell you now, I'll tell you now. It's the USA Mountain Running Championships. The USA Mountain Running Championships, September 29th. Where is it at? Where is it at, you might ask? Well, if you live on the East Coast in New Hampshire, you got to come out to the USA Mountain Running Championships. Um, I actually don't even remember. It's at a ski resort in New Hampshire. I don't even remember the name of the ski resort, but maybe I'll tell you that at the live stream tonight. So come back uh, for tonight and I'll reveal that to you. But that is a race that my brother and I are very interested in. If you live in Vermont, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, upstate New York, Maine, that would be amazing just to get to meet some of you at the USA Mountain Running Championship, September 29th. It looks like it might happen for us, all right? So that's a little update for you. Okay, one last point. When I was in Carbondale visiting my brother, I always, as you know, I always like to support the local running shoe stores. Uh, if we don't support them, they won't survive. Like, listen, I order like these shoes, the Reeboks, like I ordered these online. I know like Amazon, Running Warehouse, all of these big online retailers, you know, they're making a lot of money. And But I believe in good competition in the running shoe space in order to keep the prices down. So I went to this running shoe store. It's called Independence Run and Hike, I believe, or Independent Run and Hike. And I did not buy any gear, but I did purchase... Two magazines, Ultra Running Magazine and then Trail Runner. Uh, I just always love to leave a running shoe store with something in my hands, even if it's just like a, a chapstick or something simple or maybe a pair of socks. But even though socks are getting a little expensive these days, but basically if you are looking to get into trail running, ultra running and learning about the sport and the different athletes in the sport and the different types of races that are out there, I would strongly recommend these two publications Ultra Running Magazine and Trail Runner to just, oh, I just love reading the articles in these magazines. All right. So that is, uh, that's just my little tidbit for, with, with respect to supporting our local running shoe stores. All right. Moving on, um, tonight by, okay, today, January 23rd, if you have questions for me about the live, uh, for the live stream, I will put them, if you get them to me by 4 p.m. Mountain Time, email them to me, tweet at me, hit me up on Instagram, however you want to get at, get at me, bro, get at me, bro, however you want to get at me, I will put them in this box and basically I will pull out questions uh, throughout the live stream and hopefully I will pick your question and give you a little shout out in the live stream. So don't hesitate to email me your questions for the live stream, which will happen if, again, January 23rd, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Okay, moving on, I think we will dive into the keyword. The keyword today, yes, it is shirt. And don't write it yet. Don't write it down in the comments yet. Why is it shirt? Basically, today on the phone, I spoke with the t-shirt printer. And here is the t-shirt. As many of you know, seek beauty, work hard, love each other is kind of the, the motto and the mantra of my life. And I just love it. And a vlog fan printed this t-shirt for me about a month ago. Since then, I would say we have at least... 1500 maybe 2000 new subscribers welcome if you're a new subscriber like every single day it just blows my mind it blows my mind welcome welcome well this is a t-shirt that a gentleman printed i am what we're going to do with this t-shirt is do a limited release we're going to do a limited release uh because i am still working on overall branding and logo development and color work for this channel so what we're going to do is a limited release of this t-shirt therefore if you are interested in ordering this shirt when it becomes available in the next seven to 10 days, all right, so let's just say about that seven to 10 days, maybe two weeks at the most, let me know if you're interested by doing the keyword down in the comments, shirt, down in the comments. That will let me know that you are like, yes, I'm game. I'm gonna order that shirt, support this YouTube channel. That would be amazing, but I wanna get a rough, general number of how many people are actually really interested in ordering this shirt and listen if you're like 
I want to order two of them or three of them for people that I know. Let me know, like say shirt and then three or shirt and then five or shirt and then like two or whatever it might be. That would help me so, so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that is the update on the t-shirt. We are moving forward. It is coming rapidly. All right, moving on, moving on. I got to take a breath. I got to actually, I got to take a drink here. Hold on. Okay, another update. Uh, New York City Marathon, I have not heard back yet, hopefully in February. Some of you are emailing me and tweeting uh, about the New York City Marathon to me. And listen, we're just, we're, we're waiting. We're waiting now. Uh, also, okay, the Strava group name. Here are some of my favorites, and I am reading your recommendations. Thank you. This was a question of the day from probably, probably about 10 days ago. I really like this one. Run de more miles, run de more miles. Maybe it could be like run de more miles uh, training or run de more miles group or something. Uh, so anyway, I love that. The S. Another idea is the SJD Global Run Club. Good one. I love that. I love the globalness. I think definitely we need to include global in there. Also, de more global running or de more global training, something like that. Another great one. Basically, I don't want it to be like whatever we do with Strava or a running group here in Denver locally. Like, I don't want it to be a, just about me. Uh, like, I'm, I'm, we're simply trying to build community here. You know what I mean? And like, I realize like, yes, I am the one hitting record on this camera every single day. I'm the one doing the editing, but really it's... I think it's about you and it's about us and it's about the comments and it's about the conversations that we have and supporting and encouraging each other. So I don't, anyway, I, I'm trying to walk that, walk that line with respect to overall branding and just trying to figure out how do we communicate in the digital world moving forward. All right. Does that make sense? All right. That's what I'm wrestling with. Okay. And, uh, okay. So I think those are all of the updates again tonight. 7 p.m. Mountain Time, January 23rd. We are going to talk about YouTube. We're probably going to talk about the Strava group name. We're definitely going to talk about the Reebok shoes. We're going to talk about the t-shirts. And then, of course, next week we will start the interview, the live interviews with different athletes. Um, I think that's about it. That was, a, I know I just talked for a long time and thank you for being here and sticking with me through this just update video, update vlog that I have to do, you know, once every two to three months just to catch you up to speed on some different, um, yeah, just some different movements within this YouTube channel. All right. You ready for the question of the day? It's actually, oh no, I did not write his name down. Okay. I think it was, all right. This is not my question of the day. Remember, I'm kind of dipping in, dipping my toes into your questions of the day that you asked last week. And I believe Jordan and Jason both asked a very, and probably others, asked a very similar question of the day. So I thought, hey, let's just uh, combine it into one, combine it into one. And I believe I asked a similar type question of the day maybe two months ago. But listen, since two months ago, we have at least 3,000 new people here. So I know there's a lot of people watching that are new, and I would love to hear your perspective on this question of the day because yeah anyway i know i don't want to be repetitive in the questions of the day but i also realize there's a lot of a lot of new wisdom coming to this channel every single day all right here you go question of the day here and it's it's a very big broad thirty thousand foot view question that frankly everybody can answer um all right you ready for this what gets you question of the day what gets you out the door every day to go run or what lights the fire inside you to run like what is that motivation what is that like what lights that fire inside you it could be training health teammates um mental game uh races coming up it could be seeking beauty working hard like it could be anything so really pause for a second and think about like don't just you know like really think about hmm yeah this is what gets me out the door in the morning when it's 5 a.m. and it's negative 10 out to go run. Or this is what gets me out the door like when I've got 22 minutes to squeeze a run in on my lunch break. Like that's how I, anyway, that's how I'm gonna approach the question of the day. I will comment down below as well. That's it folks, oh, you're the best. Oh, what a day, what a day. Seek beauty, work hard, 
love each other. Mm -mm -mm. Remember, let me know. Shirts down in the down in the comment down below. See you tomorrow.